Hey guys, this is Erwin Twee Devils. Um, so just a short video for all of you who are into creating your own strategies, uh, whether that will be Bloodhound or NinjaScript or the Strategy Builder, um, no matter what you use, you will find that sooner or later you come to uh, having to deal with plots. So indicators uh, in NinjaTrader, um, export plots, and plots can be used in strategies. Uh, our indicators, almost all our indicators, also export plots. Um, and yeah, you can use those in your, in your uh, strategies to, uh, to make decisions whether to open a trade or, or not. Uh, we do our best to describe these plots on, uh, on the website um, to tell you what they are doing and what they are uh, meant for. Uh, but there is a little trick in NinjaTrader, which well, not many know, I guess, about, uh, which makes life so much easier. So um, let me show you quickly how this works. First, um, let's go to the, to the website. And for example, I will look at the footprint indicator today, uh, but you can use this for any indicator. Um, on our website, you can see there is a section about uh, Bloodhound, Ninja, Trader, and Strategy Support, where we mention all the plots and how to, uh, how to use them. Um, but let's say you want to say, well, uh, I want to know what this plot is doing, uh, which values can I expect? Then simply add the indicator to your chart. So you can see I already have the, uh, the indicator here on my chart. And we are looking at live data, by the way. It's, um, well, about one hour before the market opens. So it's a little bit slow enough. Um, let me get rid of this. And let's just um, see those plots. So um, if you go to the Ninja Trader <coughs> data box, that's this small icon here, or you can probably also uh, find it here. Mm, yeah, show data box there. Um, then Ninja will open a, a new window showing all the plot values from all the indicators. And it's really, really helpful. So for example, you can see the, the initial balance indicator, which I also have on this chart, uh, the current day o, open, open high low indicator, the toolbar, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And here we have the TDO footprint with all the plots and all these values. And now if you hover over a candle, uh, you watch closely, you can see because this, is, this candle is still developing, it's not closed yet. You can see those values changing. For example, if you look at the, the volume here and, and here, you will see that it will, uh, it will change with every tick. Um, yeah, and that way you can uh, very easily see uh, what those plot values are, are doing mean, and meaning. For example, let's say um, uh, here we have a divergent signal. So uh, if I go hover over this, candle right here. You can also see the divergence is plotted here with this uh, magenta. Uh, then uh, go away. Um, then you can see that the delta divergence flips from zero to one. You can see it's right here. So this delta divergence signal is plotting a zero if there is no delta divergence and a one if there is a delta divergence. Um, yeah, and that way you can can very easily uh, look at the different plots and see what values are used. Uh, so you can use them in, uh, in your trading. Um, let's find a, another one. Let's see the sell imbalances right here, for example, or the buy imbalances. And then let's find a bar with multiple imbalances. So here we have a bar with one, two, three, four imbalances. And if I hover over it, you can see cell imbalances flipping from zero to four. So this is a count. It's, it's, it's giving you the amount of cell imbalances in the bar. For example, this bar only has one cell imbalance. So the count here is then going to be a one. And it's a little bit difficult because if, move, if I move my mouse, then it, it shows the other, um, the other candles. But yeah, you can see it maybe better here, right? Cell imbalances one. Um, so yeah, like I said, um, using this method, you can, can quickly determine what, what the values of these, um, 
of these plots are. Are they like volume, are they like price, or are they a count, or, or, or zero or one? Um, and um, yeah, that's, that's very handy to know if you want to develop your own strategies. I use this uh, myself a lot if I'm playing with some uh, some ID in Bloodhound and maybe using a, a third party indicator. Um, then um, yeah, I just use the data box and I, I go over the candles which uh, uh, where I would want to see a trade. Uh, just look at the plots and, and see what the, what they mean. So um, yeah, that's that's all I had to say for now. Um, I hope this was useful for you, uh, you guys, and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.